Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm glad that you're here and if you're back, welcome back. Today I'm sharing a really fun unboxing with you guys from DIY Moon Shop whose logo this is and you might have recognized, maybe recognize the pretty packaging. Um, just FYI, if you're new to DIY Moon Shop, it did also come wrapped in plastic, but it takes me a minute to cut out of that and you guys didn't need to watch me struggle. So <laughs> how are you guys today? I hope you're doing well. Um, this was an order that I had placed, where are my scissors? Um, about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. Um, and it has a really special kit in it for an event that starts January 1st, which I believe, yeah, that's gonna be the day that I upload this. So the event starts today. But before I get into that a little bit more, for those of you that aren't familiar with DIY Moonshop or Die Moonshop, as they, you know, can also be called, um, they are a premium diamond painting company that they make all of their kits to order. They legally license their artwork from artists and compensate art artists very fairly. And <laughs> I'm just gonna rip through this, you guys. Okay. And one of the things that you pay for is not only really high quality diamond paintings, but also sort of the experience of the processing and shipping and packaging and all of that. So get all this noise stuff out of the way. So they wrapped it in tissue paper inside the paper wrap with their cute little thank you sticker. And then everything is wrapped in cardboard to keep it even safer. So let's get into this. Now this particular order, which I have ordered from DIY Moon Shop before, um, this particular order was one that I placed, I think around my birthday at the beginning of November. And this was kind of my experimental order. And what I mean by that is I picked up a couple of things that are new to me from DIY Moon Shop to try out and see what I think and share with you guys about as well. Oh my gosh, so many layers. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I have yet to have a kit arrive in less than pristine condition in terms of like there's no damage that's happened during shipping. So yeah, not gonna complain about that. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. All right, three canvases and a whole lot of goodies. So I am gonna go ahead and I wanna start up front with what's specific to the event that is happening um, starting today. So first things first though, let me get into this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I ordered a lot of extra random things that I'll show you last, <laughs> some extra accessories. Okay, so what all do we have here? I literally, I cannot remember what all's in here. Okay, it's, it, yeah, it's been a minute since I ordered, so <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Okay, so they do include, okay, here's how their toolkit is packaged this time. Please forgive me, I'm feeling a little bit flustered today for some reason. <laughs> I think it's just been kind of a day with my kiddos, so bear with me. They always include little freebie gifts with your orders, which are always, again, just nice little touches. And oh my gosh, I have quite the cute little selection of stickers from them that I also like to re-gift. Flowers, butterfly, if you were looking for a sign, this is it. That is a good motto going into 2021, right? And then, oh, those are pretty. Cute. Okay. And if you're not familiar with DIY Moon Shop, they usually give you a bunch of boats. <laughs> Check. Lots of green boats. Lots of plates of pink wax. A bunch of multi-placers. And a bunch of pens and a pair of tweezers. <laughs> All the basic stuff, but you know what? It's everything that you would need to get started with diamond painting. So, okay, let's, like I said, whew, let's start with the canvas that got here just in time 
for a really special event that my friend Lindsay over at Life with Lindsay is hosting. It's her first event and it is called Alice in a Winter Wonderland. And if you haven't heard about it already, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but again, if you're new here, you might not have heard me talk about it. I'm going to link to her Instagram as well as to her video where she gives all the short and sweet points of how you can participate in the event. And the event goes from January 1st to February 14th. So by the time you're seeing this video, the event will have started, but that's still plenty of time if you wanted to pick up an Alice kit and it'll come in the mail. You don't have to start on January 1st, but go take a look at Lindsay's video, she has all the details there. I'm so excited for her and excited to be a part of this event. So I was poking around trying to decide which Alice kit I really wanted to work on. And then I was poking through DIY Moonshop's website and I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. One of my favorite, favorite artists from DIY Moonshop, Chiriyuki, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, has this adorably whimsical Alice kit. There's actually two versions of this with the same artwork. This is the cropped in version where you're mostly just the focal point is like her and the rabbit. There is a taller and larger version that has more to it, but I just really, this one was speaking to me quite, quite a lot. So how cute is this? So this is, uh, where's the size? I just saw it. Okay, the size, which is on the legend in the drill bag, I've got the 66 by 50. I'm not sure if this is the largest size. DIY Moonshop does offer multiple sizes, so you can choose which size works for your price point and for the image that you've chosen to sort of find that balance for you. Like I said, I can't remember if this is the largest size. It might be the medium. But DIY Moonshop um, does not include any legends directly on the canvas because you'll notice that there is this nice neutral gray border that's going all around the edges and then there's you know there's branding at the bottom but um this just kind of sets it up so that it's even more ready for framing um which i like i like and i don't tend to look at my legend on the canvas anyway so um that works out fine for me. <laughs> they do usually put stickers at the bottom with your name and the name of the canvas itself. This one is titled Down the Rabbit Hole version B. And as I mentioned, the artist is the lovely Cheriyuki. I have a couple of pieces from her in my stash. Haven't had the chance to work on them just yet. So this will be my first from her. I'm very excited, very, very excited. There's a little speck on here that is just gonna pick right off, it's bothering me. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the drill field. Um, on my previous DIY moon shop that I worked on and completed, I did have a couple of symbols that were a little similar and um, that was something I'd ordered over the summer. And I had heard from multiple people that DIY moon shop, Rowana and Reggie are the two that, um, it's a family owned business and they run it. They were aware of the issue and that they were going to change up those particular symbols. And I will say, I don't see any symbols that look terribly similar. And this drill field is super clear. Um, you'll notice that if you watch lots of unboxings, you'll often hear creators mention that the drill field looks much clearer through a camera lens than it does in person. But I can tell you that this looks every bit as clear in person as it does in the camera. How cute is that little rabbit? I love it. I love how there are so many different takes on Alice in Wonderland. You can find a piece um, in just about any style that you're looking for. And that's, I think, one of the awesome things about the event that Lindsay is doing, Alice in a Winter Wonderland, is that we can all find something that's very much to our tastes and speaks to us, but the Alice is just kind of one of those really universal, relatable characters. So can you tell I'm excited for this one? <laughs> Let's measure it and see if it is measuring true to size. So it should be 66 centimeters wide. It is, oops, sorry, 65 and a half, though the canvas isn't perfectly flat, so I can easily blame it on that. This way it is a tick shy of 50. So I am gonna call that true to size. 
DIY Moonshops kits are made with poured glue. So if in the camera you can see what looks like wrinkles or bubbles, those are not. Those are just places where the adhesive has shifted. Poured glue is very high quality and forgiving. You can just pull back your plastic cover and then replace it and it will help the canvas lay flat and get rid of any of those visible bubbles. Testing the sticky and that seems great. <laughs> they did again have a lot of diamond painting companies actually had some trouble with um, the poured glue on their canvases not seeming to be sticky enough and it seems like the ongoing theory that some of us have is that they were just um, with trying to meet demand with the pandemic and everything and more people ordering and whatnot that the production companies, the manufacturers, weren't giving the glue the amount of time it needed to cure and to set. They were putting the plastic cover on too soon, which for whatever reason, when the glue didn't cure, it just made the glue kind of slippery and not as sticky as we might want. So this seems to be better. I appreciate that when um, companies are made aware of the problem that they work to fix it. So let's flip this over to give you a nice white background to take a quick look at the drills. If you don't like the crinkle, mute for a sec. Um, I'm not going to pull out every single pack of drills because they're in there so neatly and I have two other canvases, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> two other canvases to show you guys. Um, so I'm not going to show all of these to you right now, but we'll take a look at a few just for sake of quality. I did get this one in brown drills um, in hopes that it will work up a little bit more quickly and I don't know, I just find rounds to be a little bit more relaxing to work with. Though, given that I haven't tried any round drill kit, or sorry, given that I've only worked on round drill kits from DIY Moon Shop, I'm looking forward to branching out, which I'll get into with one of my other kits in a minute. Okay, <laughs> this kit has a lot of grays in it. I'm hoping that I'm not going to get really tired of that kind of color scheme, but we will see. Let's take a look at, we do have some 310. The quality looks good. I'm not, not really seeing any trash. Pretty pink, magenta. So there's quite a range of colors. Um, let me show you really quickly. They have, like I mentioned, they don't have a legend on the canvas itself. They have a separate legend that is on a piece of canvas. This would fit nicely in a Zyron sticker maker if you just wanted to make this straight into stickers. I will probably take a picture of it or make a copy of it um, to put through my sticker maker because this is my only copy of the legend and I get twitchy about <laughs> only having one with no backup. So like most, if not all of DIY Moonshops kits, this kit has 45 colors and I hope that that will lend it a really nice level of detail. The legend has just the item number on the side, the symbol, and then your DMC code. So I did not get special drills with this kit because I feel like or the special treatments that uh, DIY Moonshop offers with some of their kits because I feel like the more muted tones in this kit sort of lend themselves to not having a special treatment with it. So... Look at that pink. I'm really excited to work on this. I think that this spread of colors is going, going to work so beautifully together. There's a really light, light, light blue and light lavender. I love it. A lot of the Alice in Wonderland themed kits, oh, here's extra baggies and labels if you need them. A lot of the Alice in Wonderland kits out there can be a little bit, 
a little bit louder. Um, I feel like it's a little less common to find more muted themes with Alice in Wonderland. So, especially in terms of color scheme. So I'm really looking forward to working on this for the event. Again, I'll link directly to Lindsay's video um, in the description box below and definitely go check it out because I have a feeling that most of us have at least one Alice kit in our stash that here's your chance and excuse to work on it. So, okay, let me uh, put this in the drills way and I'll grab my next canvas. All right, so next up I have a canvas that is a little bit of an experiment for me from DIY Moon Shop. This is one of the brand new November releases. And think for a minute, was this November, December? This was from November. Um, you may or may not recognize the artist just from the style of the artwork alone. Um, this is from the artist hmm, Asia Trier. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. This piece is titled The Guardian, and if you can't tell, it's a silhouette of a dragon. And I know I have a type, but I couldn't resist getting this one specifically because I wanted to try the candy, candy drills from DIY Moonshop, which, so they call them candy. They are, we'll get into these, the special crystal drills that you sometimes see on special drill projects. So when I saw this, I thought, does this artwork not totally lend itself to the effect of crystal drills or candy, as DIY yeah, I mean, Shop calls them? Um, and I thought, okay, well, this is the kind of image I can get in a little bit smaller size. This is a 45 by 45 centimeters, kind of snacky depending on your personal, personal preferences. But um, I thought this would be kind of the perfect style of artwork and perfect size and, and all of that to try out their candy drills. So let's do a really quick measurement on the canvas and take, we'll take a look at it as well up close. So we've got 45 on the nose by 45 on the nose, measuring just the drill field. So as far as looking at the drill field goes, let's take a quick look at the symbols. So they do have black print on a dark blue background with this H but it isn't, it is not too difficult to make out. This percentage sign here is a little bit blurry, but as long as we don't have anything else that looks too similar to that, I think we'll be okay. This has a literal rainbow of colors on it. It has 30, 37 colors according to the legend. So that is every color of the rainbow. I mean, that's this artist's style, right? But look how beautiful this is. I feel like I often actually see this artist's artwork um, on websites that do not legally license their artwork. So I love getting the chance to support this artist legally. <laughs> well, for her to get... Um, him, her, to get compensation from uh, their artwork. So again, here's the walking legend that'll be separate that we can use. I like that, well, these are mostly alphanumeric symbols, but hopefully these are all just gonna match the colors and that'll make it even easier. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's a rainbow. We're gonna get into these because I cannot resist. We can't get drills like this and not look at them. Again, if you don't like the crinkle, go ahead and mute. All right, okay. We are just gonna go right in rainbow order and I cannot resist looking at all of these colors. My gosh. Can't you just imagine how amazing this is going to look on this kit? We are just going right through the rainbow. I love it. I love it. The drill quality looks good. If you're, not, if you're not familiar with crystal drills, you're noticing the silver backing. Those are not trash drills. 
they put a silver backing on these crystals because it helps the color reflect back up even more. It's kind of like a mirror effect. So that is intentional. I love that. The outside of the bag is a little bit dusty, but the drills inside look fine. Oh my gosh. Look at those colors. I actually have yet to work on, that's a big old bag of blue. I have yet to work on a full like a full drill canvas with crystals. I have a couple of kits from a couple other companies that are full drill crystal kits, but none from DIY Moonshop and I haven't worked on any of them. So this may, we'll see, this might be my first because these colors, oh my gosh. That maroon. So what are your guys' thoughts on full drill crystal canvases. Have you worked on one from DIY Moonshot before or from another company? What has your experience been like? I know some people really love the effect. Some people, it gives them an actual headache to work on. I hope I'm not one of those. Um, and I feel like, I mean, it seems like different artwork would lend itself more to this kind of special drill than others. So, that purple. Oh, oh my gosh, I love that royal purple. Do you guys see that sparkle? Ooh, one of my favorite crystals. I've worked on some of the like um, partial special drill kits that have crystals. So I've seen some of these kinds of colors and styles before, but never worked on a full canvas that's all crystal. Okay, those colors are lovely and I'm excited. I hope I can get to this one soon because I'd love to see how it turns out and share my thoughts with you guys. So I have one more canvas and then some accessories and goodies to show you. I'm gonna put all these drills away and be right back with the third canvas. All right, so last but not least of these three canvases that I'm working on is a first for me in a couple of ways from DIY Moon Shop. So I'll just show you guys. <laughs> you may or may not recognize this absolutely beautiful piece from the artist Anna Dittman. The name of this piece is Guys. And um, I saw one of my friends over on Instagram Lisa, um, her handle's re Reading Diamonds or Reading Diamonds. I'll link her below so you can go check it out. I saw her complete this kit and was utterly blown away by the rendering of everything. <laughs> the skin, the um, the shades like in just in her hair and with the flowers, it looked absolutely incredible. And I was like, that is a kit I am definitely going to work on someday because Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. So I decided that this would um, be not only my first piece to work on from the artist Anna Dittman, but also I thought that this would be the perfect piece to try out DIY Moonshop's square drills. I do have several other kits from DIY Moonshop in my stash. They are all round drills because I just... I get jumpy around squares sometimes, especially from companies that I haven't tried out their square, square drills yet. I thought that this canvas, this piece lent itself to square drills. I'm hoping that finish will be really, really nice. Um, so we'll see. Like I said, this will be a bit of an experiment for me. Um, one thing to know with DIY Moonshop is that their square drills, if you get a kit in square drills, it is going to cost more than their kits with round drills. Not totally sure why, it might have something to do with the number of drills that you're getting, but just something to be aware of. That has been something else that has held me back as well. Let's do a quick measurement on this one. I ordered this in the 40 by 50, which I think is one of the medium sizes that they offered since the subject matter it is, you know, large enough. I don't feel like I need to go super large to get detail. I think it's gonna be there, especially with the square drills. This is 50 tall, which is right on the nose, and 40 wide. I haven't really run into a problem at all with DIY Moonshop 
and um, their kids not being true to size, they've always been pretty true to size for me. Sticky like the others. Ooh, that is color blocking. I bet, I, yeah, I'm sure that's 310. I'm 90% sure that's 310. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm wrong now that I'm looking at the <laughs> legend over there. Let me not get ahead of myself. Drill field. Oops, sorry if I bumped you there. These symbols down here, the olive green with the white triangle is a little faint, but as long as there's nothing else that's too similar to that, I think it'll be okay. My gosh, look how beautiful this is. And seriously, I know it looks a little funky with the symbols there and not actual colors, but I was just blown away by how DIY Moonshop rendered this piece when I saw my friend complete it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Drill field looks great. Let's go ahead and flip it over and take a look at the drills themselves, which I do want to pull these out to take a look at because they are squares and I am not personally familiar with DIY Moonshop's square drill quality. So let's get into this. Okay. So here's your walking legend again, as always, 45 colors. My experience so far is that with the standard non-candy kits, <laughs> like the dragon one I just showed you guys, that 45 colors is seems to be their norm. So again, you could stick this through your Zyron sticker maker or like I'm gonna do, make a copy. <laughs> and then put the copy through the Zyron sticker maker. Okay. This end. Like I said, I am gonna take a little bit of a closer look at these just because I am not as familiar with them. If you're seeing that, what looks like a little pinprick on the bottom of these drills, that does not make them trash or problematic. That is part of manufacturing. I think, I think particularly with square drills where that helps them not have holes or become concave, the drill bottoms that you want to watch out for, with any luck, we won't see any. But if you see a bottom of a drill that looks fully concave, not just a little dot, but like looks like it's been scooped out you won't want to place that on your canvas because it doesn't have a flat bottom. It's not going to stick very well. So far, so good. Look at that deep green. Oh my gosh, these colors. I feel like looking at the original artwork, I wouldn't necessarily know there were all these greens and blues, but I, I just, I've, the ending's been spoiled for me. I've seen someone work on it, so I know it's going to turn out beautifully. I can't remember what size her, her kit was. I'm pretty sure she did squares, but, um, oh my gosh, how am I gonna decide which of these kits to work on? I don't think this is, this is probably not the background color. 16, that is 823. I was like, that's a little light to be 939. I tend to look at the closest at the darker drills because for whatever reason, if your drills, if any of your drills are going to have problems, it's most likely to be your darker drills. 20, look at that. Here we go, 21, oh this is 939. 939 is going to be what's color blocked in the background that I was kind of poking at and thinking was 310. Random round drill. <laughs> Happy to say that the drill quality looks really great in both of these bags. Another random round drill straggler. We got lots of hitchhikers. They're like, we heard that you've only worked on round drill kits here. We will hang, there's another, oh no, that's like square. <laughs> like we'll come and hang out with these square drills to make you feel comfortable. And yes, I am, it's not anthropomorphizing my diamond painting kits because these aren't animals. I gotta look up my vocab words, you guys. I'm gonna lose my, my pretentious reputation. <laughs> 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mostly. <laughs> Lots of random stragglers in these, but I, like, that's so not a big deal for me. <laughs> I don't know if that bothers you, but I don't mind if there are some occasional stragglers. Go a little more quickly. I've been keeping you guys here for a little while, so. But we're looking at beautiful kits. Can you blame me? <laughs> I noticed that this one did not come with any spare drill, like extra plastic baggies tucked in here. Um, I have plenty and that's not really a problem for me, but I'm sure if you got a kit and it didn't have something like that and you were expecting it to and wanting it to, you can reach out to Rowana and Reggie, the team over at DIY Moon Shop. I have no doubt that they will take care of you. They have fantastic customer service and stand by their product and they will um, make right any issues that you have. So I have a couple of fun little accessory things to show you guys. So let me pack away these drills and I'll show you those. So here are the other goodies that I picked up with this order. So I did forget to mention, this was kind of hiding in there. I did get a free special treatment set for the Guardian because I ordered it in the month that it was released. So this was a November release. And um, by ordering it in month in the month of November, um, that's pretty typical for them. If you order during the release month, they include free special treatment. So the one that goes with this is yellow firefly sprinkle on yellow areas in the middle of swirls. Ooh, look at those. Let me grab that canvas. So it looks like, okay, it says in the middle of the swirls. So I think here, here, yeah, just kind of sprinkled throughout there just to kind of subtly enhance it. I'm curious how these will look. I wonder if they'll get lost in the crystals or if they have enough of a different effect that it'll just enhance it well. So anyway, something to keep in mind if you're thinking of ordering from them that they do seem to be running that promo monthly. Their monthly new releases. Order that month, get your free special treatment. <laughs> they aren't, it depends on the kit. They can be a little bit expensive to add on yourself separately. I have done it before, not always, but um, yeah. Another promo. I hope I didn't get these mixed up, but I believe because I ordered through one of their affiliates, dot by dot by e, um, over on Instagram, I'll link her below. Because I ordered through one of uh, their affiliate links, I got a free matching cover minder for the new release that I ordered that month. So there, you can kind of see what that original artwork looks like. Fun little bonus. Now, what I have here, I decided I wanted to try out one of their masks, just for fun, because we're all living that mask life, right? <laughs> So this is from the artist Jeremiah Morelli. This is based on his artwork Dreamer, which DIY Moonshop does legally license in a kit. I have yet to work on one of his kits because for whatever reason, they're a little more spendy than the other artists, but um, there's a little business card with the original artwork. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it came with a matching pouch and quite honestly, I feel like the pouch was a bigger motivation for me than a wristlet than the mask because I love little organizational things like this. I could think of any number of things that I would keep in here. I think it's intended to be like, you can put your mask in here, but this mask is nice. It's really soft. These are designed to be worn over like a surgical mask, which they included a 10 pack of. So it's not really designed to be worn by itself because there's no spot for a filter in here, but you can double layer it, so. There is that, and then there is, oh my gosh, they, they started carrying all these really adorable cover minders, and I have a bit of a collection problem when it comes to cover minders, so. Okay, I'm not gonna pull all these out because I've had you guys here for a while, but look at this little doggy. The magnet's on his bottom paw. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not sure how many more of these various minders they still have in stock, but go check out their website. I think they add new styles from time to time as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's facing the wrong way, so I'm going to get them out. Look. 
she's wearing a scarf. Oh my gosh. Magnet on the bottom of his foot. Oh my gosh. It reminded me of the golden retriever that I had when I was growing up. <laughs> so stinking cute. Okay, and then these two are coordinating. And my confession is, so one of these I ordered that my friend Jacqueline tagged on to my order because she really wanted one of these minders but didn't wasn't going to be placing another DIY moon shop order anytime like super soon so I was like we'll just add it onto my order <laughs> and then hold on a sec here's the problem I don't remember which one she ordered and which one I ordered <laughs> one of these is for her and one of these is for me so Jacqueline if you're watching um you gotta remind me which one's for you so little minder collection here they're like a good weight too they're like a heavy weight and i can imagine like, like just sitting on your sitting on your project smiling at you while you work oh my gosh so stinking cute okay that is it we made it through everything <laughs> i hope that this was really fun and you guys enjoyed getting into these kits with me um, I'm gonna pull out the Alice one more time, just to recap. Sorry for that noise. Okay, here is my kit that I am going to be working on for Alice in a Winter Wonderland, the event that my friend Lindsay is hosting over at Life with Lindsay. Again, I'm gonna link her down in the description. Um, again, it's not too late to pick up a kit if you don't already have an Alice kit in your stash to work on. There will be lots of fun things happening that I am not going to go into because I can't remember what all she has revealed to the public. <laughs> but trust me, if you have an Alice kit or if you have wanted to work on an Alice kit, participate in this event. It's going to be a lot of fun and you won't regret it. Um, and there's no, you don't have to finish it by the end of the event either. So anyway, please let me know if you have any questions about any of these kits. Um, in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer and you guys will see me working on this one well probably in my next whipping chat so um, look forward to keeping you posted on how this kit works up and you'll probably see me using my new minders and well you won't really see me using my mask but that's okay I'm using it <laughs> so anyway I'm really going to let you go this time. I hope you're all having a really wonderful week. If you're new here and um, aren't subscribed, I'd love if you hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I share new videos, which is not really on a schedule since I do have two little ones running around. Um, but we have lots of fun over here. So come hang out. I'll try to get back to comments as quickly as I can as well. And of course, if you haven't clicked away already, I'd really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button before you head on out. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so much. I hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye friends.